All right, calls of the day. Let's start with Costco. Joe, we'll do that with you. Target raised to 660 from 630 at Loop. They reiterate their buy rating despite slowing inflation. Costco doesn't sound any more likely to raise its membership fee. So they also call it a core holding, which is exactly what it is for me, mm -hmm. uh, in particular with the quality momentum Joe T ETF. It's been in there since inception. It's been a name that has been uh, rewarded us with strong sales growth over the last 36 months, you're talking about 13%. That's very difficult to find for a consumer staple company. Also understand the international expansion for this company, the opportunity there is real. Um, I think this company is benefiting from its scale and benefiting, benefiting rather from its membership program. All right, so Josh, give me a take on housing. As I mentioned that KB gets downgraded. Not that you own that, you own Invitation, but that's the way you've been playing it. Downgraded to neutral from outperform Wedbush, price target 55, they cite valuation. Yeah, I mean, the, the, home, the home builders have definitely outperformed what anyone on earth would have expected. If I spotted you in January, I gave you where Fed funds were going and mortgage rates would be eight and a quarter nationally. Um, most people would have expected the typical home building stock to get cut in half. But most people, myself included, really didn't understand the degree to which we were underhoused and how small the supply was. And that is why these stocks have held up so well. So I do understand the downgrade. I probably would ignore it. If I were a buyer, I would continue to buy in this group. And that is one of the better names you can own. Liz, what about housing stocks? Uh, housing, st I mean, housing adjacent, obviously suffering from a reduction in consumer spending and big durable items. I think housing stocks in general, home builders probably can still do okay as rates are falling. And if we look forward, you know, I think everybody's been expecting home prices to come down, but if rates keep falling, the demand for buying homes goes up. And I don't know that prices are going to That's fall right. the way that everybody expects. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. ITB is up 43% year to date. XHB it's demographic six and a half. It's incredible. It's, it's, also keep in mind there's the a strong Fed, Hold on, Josh. There's a, strong Sorry, Joe, correlate, there's a strong correlation between where mortgage spreads are mm -hmm. in the credit markets and where the home builder performance is. You could actually over, overlay it and you'll see uh, directionally they're going to trade uh, with, with a strong correlation. So mortgage spreads have tightened significantly. They're at the lowest levels in the last 16 weeks, and that's been favorable for home builders. If that continues, home builders continue to work higher. Okay, Josh, you were saying? I would just say the demography is the story here, and it's why I think this sector remains investable. There might be differences when Home Depot says, oh, this quarter a lot of people did small renovations. Oh, this quarter they bought big ticket items. You're always going to get that variability from one quarter to the next. But what will not change is how many 31-year-olds we have in this country mm -hmm. who have just started their families or are about to and need a house. You mentioned my holding an invitation homes. For me, this is the best way to play that idea. They own 80,000 single family homes. It's not apartment rentals, but it's rental houses. They're in 16 of the most desirable markets to be in. Okay. The appliances are modern, the technology is great, and that's why I think that stock has done so well this year, up about 13%. Uh, most of its peers have are, are not anywhere near that right. in the wheat sector. I want to, I'm sorry. I want to get to one more before we take a break. It's Ulta, which you bounced from the Joe T, which is top pick at UBS. 35% upside, 560 is the price target. They say, quote, expecting more of a glow up than a blow up. Now this is the list. You know, there, there are certain stocks that you're going to be able to capture the rhythm and, and invest and trade in it really well. Ulta has not been one of those names for me. I will candidly admit that. It's a quality company with a good balance sheet, but there's a significant amount of volatility, and I've been shaken out of this names a few times.